Welcome to this toolbox talk on fire extinguisher. Fire is among the most deadly workplace hazards, but is the most preventable of accidents. Due to the serious danger of fire, it is beneficial to know what to do when a fire erupts. Most fire starts small. Fire can usually be controlled if they are attacked by properly trained personnel with the right type and size of fire extinguisher within the first two minutes. Get out immediately if a fire starts to spread or block exit routes. In this toolbox talk, we will discuss about the types of fire extinguisher, the pass method, and the important do's and don'ts while using a fire extinguisher. There are five classes of fire extinguishers, and each can put out a different type of fire. So, one by one, let's discuss about these classes. Class A fire extinguishers should be used to put out fires involving ordinary combustible materials, such as cardboard, paper, wood, dried vegetation, basically anything that leaves an ash after it has burned. Class B fire extinguishers should be used to put out fires involving flammable and combustible liquids such as gasoline, diesel, oil, and oil-based paints, and many solvents. Class C fire extinguishers are suitable for use to extinguish fires that involve appliances, tools, gaseous substance and other equipment that is plugged in or otherwise electrically energized, as well as, for fires burning in, close proximity to electrically energized equipment. Class D fire extinguishers, are designed for use to extinguish combustible metals, such as magnesium, or sodium, and are often designed for a specific type of combustible metal. This does not include ordinary carbon steel, only metals that will burn when ignited. Class K fire extinguishers are designed to be used for putting out fires that involve oils and grease used for cooking in kitchens such as vegetable oils and animal based oils and fat. Most fire extinguishers operate using the following pass technique. P means pull the locking pin. A means, aim at the base of the flames. S means, squeeze the handle. S means, sweep back and forth over the burning area. By keeping the following do's in mind, you can be safe and secured, while extinguishing the fire. Do know the locations of extinguishers, on the job site. Do familiarize yourself with the types of fire, and what to use for each. Do remember, the pass method, for fire extinguishers. Do identify, a safe evacuation path, before approaching the fire. Do evacuate immediately, if you have any doubt about your ability, to fight a fire. Now, let's take a look at the things, that should be avoided while extinguishing the fire. Do not use water agents on grease and oil fires or use dry chemical extinguishers on electrical devices or anything with metal because it is corrosive. Do not aim at the flames of the fire. Do not stand too close to the fire or even plan to walk on those extinguished areas. Do not put extinguishers in areas where fire is most likely to happen, making them unreachable. Do not leave extinguishers in corridors or on anything that is highly magnetic. Do not play with the device or even play with its substances because of the possibility of injuring yourself. With this, we end this toolbox talk on fire extinguisher. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.